Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Nitin. Firstly, I must thank Avana Surgicals for this wonderful initiative for bringing all of us together to shed a little bit of light on what are the causes of knee pain, to discuss what are the causes of knee pain, and then what are the, then after that we can together answer your questions. And at the end of this uh, webinar session, I'm hoping that you will be able to go home with little more knowledge about your knee, how to take care of your knee, and uh, you'll be able to better look after yours or your relative's knee much more efficiently. So first, I'll be giving a small presentation about knee pain. It's a broad presentation covering what are the aspects of the knee. It will probably cover for half an hour. Now, after this presentation, I'll be opening the webinar for question and answer session. So whatever questions you have, you can ask me. I'll try to answer your questions, uh, whatever queries. Majority of them will be one question will answer majority of your questions as well. So I'm hoping that at the end of all the questions, all your doubts, clarifications would have been cleared. Okay. Now, <clears throat> We all know that knee joint pain is very, very common. It's one of the common, not one of the, it is the most commonest cause of any joint pain in the body. Back pain in the body is the most commonest. And after that, knee joint pain comes second common. The reason knee joint pain is very common is that there are multiple structures within, within the joint which can cause injury and pain. So it's a very complex joint. It's made up of three bones. I'll come to that. And it can move about in one plane front and back. And also you can twist the joint in various directions. And this flexibility itself makes it more prone for injuries. So the knee joint is made of three bones. One is your thigh bone called pima. One is your shin bone called tibia. And then you have a small kneecap in the front of your knee called patella. Along with these three bones, there are ligaments which are attaching these bones. And there is cartilage, which is a smooth cushion-like structure, which is lining the bones. In between these bones, which is femur and tibia, you have what we call as shock absorbers. These are menisci. Now, all these structures together, right from your birth until your old age, all these structures make sure that your knee is functioning normally. Any small problem in any one of these can give you pain. And hence, we are here to discuss what can you do to prevent this pain? If you have developed a pain, what can we do to help you to get rid of your pain, right? So what are the reasons that you can have knee pain? I'll try to broadly touch the most common causes of knee pain. Location of the pain itself can be different. Sometimes you can have pain in the upper part of your knee. Sometimes pain in the front of your knee. Sometimes it can be in the back of your knee or to the side of the knee. So location of the pain itself can give us as a doctor an indication as to what is the cause of your pain. And that's where we ask you, where is the pain? That will give us a clue as to what could be going wrong inside the knee joint, right? So these are the various different iliotibial band syndrome, knee contusion. You don't have to know all these things. I'll touch upon these things one by one slowly, okay? So what are the causes? Knee injuries during young age, sometimes even during elderly age also, knee injuries can be common. Sports people, falling off the bike, road traffic accidents, day-to-day -day activities like 
dancing or you go to the beach and you fall okay anything can cause an injury to the joint a twisting movement of the joint stretches the ligament and when you stretch the ligament beyond a certain stage the ligament will snap and it will tear once you have a tear in the ligament it depends upon the grade of your ligament tear majority which are uh, initial grade will heal very well with good amount of rest physiotherapy and a few medicines but sometimes the ligament is so badly torn that it may need to be repaired so ligament injuries are one common causes and second is mechanical problems mechanical problems are something you are born with for example the shape of the leg so for example the shape of the leg if you are born with knock knees if you are born with knees which have shape curving inside or outside then that can cause more load on one part of the knee and that can cause pain affecting that part of the knee so mechanical problems is something which you are born with the shape of your knees medical conditions sometimes you can have things like increased uric acid that can cause gout sometimes you can have rheumatoid arthritis that is that can cause pain in your joints that is um, inflammatory arthritis or sometimes just age related arthritis which is osteoarthritis osteoarthritis is age related wear and tear of the knee joint so um once again from um, one second please brahma ji gar brahma ji cool sorry about that disturbance yeah so let's talk about a few of the common injuries uh, uh in the knee joint coming to injuries acl tear is one of the commonest everybody must have heard about that it's a very very crucial ligament inside the joint that helps you to maintain the balance inside the joint so any injury to the acl can cause imbalance instability or a sensation of your knee giving way this happening on a recurrently everyday basis if there is any instability or regular instability acl tear can also cause injury to the normal structures which are not injured initially so instability is not a good thing for your joint at all and if you leave an acl tear which is unstable for a long time it can eventually lead to arthritis of the knee joint and it can be treated very easily as well fractures of course have to be treated as and when they happen torn meniscus meniscus as i told you is a shock absorber inside the joint now without these shock absorbers if you continue to walk your knee will wear out so if a meniscus a shock absorber is torn it's like a punctured tire if it's torn then it loses the shock absorbing capacity and it can be very painful when there is a tear in the meniscus so it is important that a tear in the meniscus or a tear in one of the major ligaments have to be addressed sooner before any further damage inside the knee joint happens other conditions like bursitis which is inflammation can be easily treated with good amount of medicines and with physiotherapy patella tendonitis now patella as i explained to you in the beginning of the talk patella is the bone in the front of your knee joint so if you have pain when you are going downstairs or upstairs in the front of your knee joint it is generally related to your patella this is very very common nowadays we see in all the sedentary workers office goers software professionals who are not doing any strengthening exercises of the joint and that causes this patella related pain which eventually slowly and slowly if ignored completely 
in the later time will lead to early onset of arthritis. So the sedentary jobs are at higher risk of developing arthritis even without any injury. As I explained to you, mechanical problem is something where the shape of your knee is different and that puts loads on the normal part of the knee joint and increased load on the affected part and that causes faster wear and tear. Any mechanical problems have to be recognized and addressed sooner before any damage happens. Generally speaking, mechanical problems should be corrected before 30 years before reaching the 30 years age group. Medical conditions, as I explained to you, sometimes uric acid crystals like gout or rheumatoid arthritis or even osteoarthritis can cause. Petalofemoral syndrome, this is what I explained to you. Very easily avoidable. It's in your own hands. So the over here, this is the petala. This is your patella and there's a lot of load in your patella when you're going upstairs, when you're going downstairs or when you're trying to squat, when you're trying to get up from sitting positions, all your day-to-day -day activities. And for your patella to function normally, you need a very good strength of your quadriceps muscle. Quadriceps muscle is the muscle in your thigh in the front of your thigh. That muscle, if it is strong, it takes away the complete load from your patella and you will not develop any pain in the patella. Okay? This is the bone in the front of your knee. As I explained, exercises are very important to prevent. Now we are looking at what are the risk factors to develop knee pain. We all continue with your, our day-to-day -day activities without realizing that we may develop a knee pain at some point of time. So we need to recognize who are at risk factors. Now, anybody who is over 50, it says over 50 over here, but I would say anybody who is over 40 need to start thinking about protecting your knee joint for the long run. Most of us now are living for beyond 80 years. So you are, because of the innovations in medical field or because of your healthier lifestyle i don't know but most of them now are living beyond 80 years but your joints have to support you and hence you have to protect your joints anybody who is over 40 slowly there will start developing muscle loss and beyond 60 the muscle loss is very drastic that means the strength of the muscle will reduce drastically after 60 years of age so Along with high protein diet, you have to start training your muscles to strengthen. That means exercises, not just walking. Walking will only cause, cause cardio. That means it's good for your heart, but it does not do anything for your muscles. It will cause more wear and tear of your joint. If you do a lot of walking without any strengthening, it is an increased risk of developing arthritis. Got it? So that is one. Female patients, the men, reason females are more at risk is because after a certain age females, their hormones, because of menopause, their hormones have stopped. So the bones will get weaker in these females sooner. So females are at slightly higher risk factors. Overweight is a very important risk factor for the knee joint. Do you know a fact? that one kg of your weight puts four kg of load on your knee joint. That means if you are 90 kgs and you come down to even 85 kgs, that means five kgs of weight loss will feel in your knee as if you have lost 20 kgs of weight. So it multiplies the amount of weight that goes through your knee is tremendous. You will feel much better with weight loss. That's the importance of making sure you're not overweight. It puts even more weight in the knee than more than the knee's ankle. It puts almost eight times the, your body weight.
through your ankle. So weight is very important. Any injury, as long as all the structures in your knee joint, which God has given you and then has designed for you are intact, you will not develop arthritis unless it is a genetic factor. If any injury happens, you will develop damages one after another inside the joint. Hence, early recognition is very important. That is, repetitive strain can cause more damage. Right? I explained to you about ligament injuries already. There are lig four main ligaments, two inside the joint and two outside the joint. And any injury to these ligaments, please do not ignore them. Take proper advice from your sports injury specialist or an orthopedic surgeon and then get it treated. You should be pain-free completely. There are different mechanisms of injury. Let's not get into that. Symptoms of ligament injuries are generally you have an episode of injury and following that you have pain. Pain along with instability. Sometimes you can have clicking sounds. It gets stuck inside the joint or sometimes it locks inside the joint where you are not able to straighten your leg at all. These are the symptoms of ligament injuries. Meniscal tear also presents with excruciating pain along with that sudden onset of severe swelling inside the joint and locking sensation and clicking inside the joint are all meniscal tear symptoms. Do not ignore those. If there is a meniscal tear, then there are various procedures to repair them various technologies. If there is a ligament tear like that, again, if it's a complete tear that needs to be repaired or reconstructed, that's an ACL tear which is repaired and then following that we give a, a new ligament and uh, then your function will come back to normal. And these are all done as a keyhole procedure. You don't have to open up the joint at all with the latest technology. See, that is the new ligament which is going to be put in. And once you have a new ligament, again, it's back to normal. Without that ligament, you will have instability. You will have one problem after another. Osteoarthritis is wear and tear of the joint, which happens generally in old age people or younger people. It can happen in two conditions. One, if there is a genetic predisposition, sometimes people have hereditary arthritis. Second, if you have injury early time of your life and you have ignored it and you develop a early arthritis. X-ray will easily show you if you have arthritis or not. For example, this X-ray in the left side is a normal joint. On the right side, you can see is a completely worn out joint. There is no joint space at all. Bone is sitting on bone. This is what inside of the joint looks like if you put a camera and see left side is completely normal the right side there is no cartilage and you can see bone is exposed cartilage is completely worn out that is severe arthritis again x-ray on the left side is you can see joint space between the two bones is nicely maintained as you move towards the right side you can see bone is touching the bone that means joint space is gone that means cartilage is gone. That means arthritis has increased. Osteoarthritis is among the most common. This is an X-ray of the knee joint. Arthritis can affect various parts of the body, like your fingers, wrists, uh, hips, uh, and spine also. So risk factors, as I mentioned to you, early in your life before 30 years correct any mechanical issues correct any medical conditions like uric acid increased make sure that that is normal make sure you are not overweight your bmi that is the body mass index has to be within normal limits it should ideally be less than 23 at least less than 25 if you have developed an injury early, do not ignore it because it can lead to further complications. 
later on in life after you reach your 40 or 50 years of age make sure you do good strengthening of your muscles to protect your knee these are the preventive factors prevention is definitely better because once arthritis has settled in it's not going to go back there are no procedures to bring back the cartilage that is gone no surgery can bring back the cartilage that is worn out and hence prevention is of utmost importance over here Pils, that is the so how do how to prevent mainly strengthening sometimes a few supplements will help with exercise weight loss and recently now over the last 10 years along with various surgical procedures if you have developed arthritis and bone is touching on the bone there are various devices various orthotics that is where avana surgicals is going to shed a light on what kind of uh, devices they have these devices are really helpful for us because they offload the damaged part of the joint so that you are able to walk on the normal part of the joint in a way it is protecting your knee to prevent that to make sure that that part of the knee is not getting damaged more and more so these devices used at the right time and prescribed properly do help in certain set of patients if your arthritis is extremely severe then these devices will not help in the early stages it will help to prevent further damage that's very important it's a preventive also so this is what the various associations help uh, have been recommending low impact exercises good strengthening exercises aquatic exercises swimming helps weight loss programs are helpful uh, and there are recently now in early stage of arthritis there are some injections that have also started which most of you have heard uh, like hyaluronic acid these are visco supplementation injections or prp injections these are regenerative injections i'll touch upon you i'm pretty sure you will have questions about that yeah offloading knee braces is what i explained they reduce the load from the affected part of your joint and they reduce your pain and symptoms from the arthritic part of the joint. PRP as I explained to you. And hyaluronic acid is a visco supplementation injection. Thank you. So that is my presentation. I am 100% sure you will have a lot of questions and I am here to answer your questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you very uh, much, thank you very much for your wonderful presentation. Uh, before I am going to hand over the, uh, we are going for a question and answer session. Uh, in your presentation, you were explained about the offloading braces, the role of offloading braces in preventing uh, further damage on the osteoarthritis. Uh, I would like to add some few points on the uh, offloading braces. With your kind permission, I will present uh, one more. Sir. Rogan, maybe my presentation is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now we are going to discuss uh, in a, in a short now about the role of braces. Braces means a lot of things are available in the market. You you know that. Uh, braces means what is mean by braces? First of all, brace is nothing but an external device. Actually, you see that it is not an implant going to be implanted inside the body because it is an a device externally it is going to be fitted to the affected or injured part of the body there are different braces are available based on the need sometimes preventive sometimes post-operative for a rehabilitation also they are using a braces even uh, for osteoarthritis there is a different braces are available so now we are going to see that uh, what is the difference between these two braces you can see that both are bases but what is the difference between these two the right side the white one you can see that is a Compression sleeve. You can you you know that nowadays it is available even in the medical shops. Even if you go to the online, also you can easily find out this compression knee sleeves. And the left side, the black one is a offloading brace. 
what is the difference between these two see let us understand now the damage is mostly because of the weight goes to the particular compartment compartment in the sense on the medium inside of the joint or on the outside of the joint mostly 95 percent weight goes to the inside the joint so that you can see a lot of people they have started walking limping while walking now the shoulder has come down and the damage happened in the inside so because of that weight only it, it is happening so now what we ought to do that offloading braces this offloading braces shift the load from the affected to the unaffected that is what it is going to do that this mechanism is not available with the compression sleeves of anatomy because compression sleeves are going to give a just a compression helps to relieve the pain but the ultimate objective goal of our uh, uh, braces is to increase the joint space if we increase the joint space what will happen you know that uh, there is no it is not going to touch the the two bones are not going to touch that is on the thigh bone and another the tibia bone will not touch together and increase the joint space once there is a good joint space obviously the wear and tear will not happen because osteoarthritis is a wear and tear disease so the same mechanism is not available in a compression sleeves so the difference between offloading and compression this is the one actually if you see that there is a mechanism available in the offloading braces for example if you see on the uh, rounded red mark you can see there is a dial we used to call it as a thumb wheel dial we once we rotate that what will happen the hinge is moving towards the joint and open the joint space you can see that this is before brace there is no joint space at all after the brace you can see that there is an increase in joint space so what it means once the joint space increased there is a reduction in pain or it can sometimes it stops or reduces the pain and further damage also will not happen this is what it is called a offloading brace mechanism you see this from this video you will come to know that very short video braces gently apply pressure to the unaffected side to align the knee taking pressure off of the affected side of the knee the higher the number on the thumb wheel the greater the amount of force on the knee these before and after x-rays show how Greg's freestyle OA brace affects the knee. Ask your doctor if a Okay, I think Greg you know that now. Braces. You see that now this is actually, this is the mechanism available in the offloading braces. The purpose of this dial helps to transfer the load from the affected to unaffected and the load is evenly distributed across the joint. So your further damage will not happen to the joint. So what is the benefit of this product is easy to apply it is not a very uh, cumbersome so everyone can easily apply that you can wear on our uh, joint over that you can wear that re regular dresses also it is very very simple product suppose if you are getting a pain you can adjust the dial also very easily so this is the one more x-ray for your reference so the pain already i have explained about what is the benefit of that the pain is reduced or sometimes completely stopped also okay you can feel that where uh, you can able to walk with the support confidence is improved so it helps your quality of life you can do a regular activity without any support without anybody's help also okay so very uh, simple low profile brace which really helps for your day to day activity uh, currently, uh, almost uh, 6,000 to 7,000 patients are using in India. If you are looking for a free trial, we are ready to give the uh, free home trial. So after the presentation, uh, after finish the webinar, we are going to share the link for a free trial. Thank you very much. And one more, sorry, uh, this is the one kind of brace. Another kind of brace also we are introduced recently. This is especially for higher BMI patients. Weight is more. So then obviously they need a different mechanism for that. If you see that uh, this braces, actually, we need to go with the Allen key. You can see that the dials will push it so that you can see that the offloading will happen. But the uh, advantage of this brace, if the patients are a little bit high, higher BMI, it really works on the frontal side. You see that this patient actually, uh, just for our uh, understanding, she started uh, climbing with a difficulty and uh, she is getting the support from the rail. Uh, then you can see the next one. She started walking without any support. She started climbing. Very overweight. Overweight patient, BMI, higher BMI patient. 
you can see this is how she is walking with a confident without any support she started walking very fast confidently also so there is a advantage of this product and you see that for a severe problem also sometimes it will doctor said na it is not suitable for everyone always better to take the consultation before you are going to buy any brace even it is a compression sleeve or whatever it may be better to take the consultation from the orthopedic surgeon will be really helpful you can see that now how it helps to walk patient okay thank you very much uh, we will share the link for a free trial thank you very much thank you doctor Ramesh, for that presentation. Now, uh, I think I would uh, like to open the webinar to our participants. We might have some questions and doubts. Sir, uh, now what I'll do, I will allow one by one to talk to you. Uh, just a minute, sir. Uh, just a minute. Uh, Ramesh Vadaga, you can talk to the doctor now. Unmute and talk. Mr. Ramesh. Ramesh Vadaga, I think. Uh... Ramesh Vadaga. So, if you Madam, have any you can... questions, Madam, you have. Please unmute and talk to the doctor. Now. Whichever language, not whichever language, Hindi, English, or Telugu is okay with me. uh i think she is struggling to unmute actually so okay madam on the top there is a unmute button is there okay sir we'll go for that uh, next one sir uh sharmila you can ask now hello hello please Hi. unmute and talk to the doctor Hi, who's this? Uh, good evening, doctor. Thank you for the wonderful presentation. Uh, good evening, uh, Ms. Sharmila. Uh, actually, I have a small question with you. Uh, yeah. If our knee is resting for a quite a long time, some of the muscles are not able to move freely. Can right. you suggest some few exercises so that I can move uh, the muscles can be moved freely? as you said yeah. it is the quadriceps which is very important for the muscle movement uh, so can you tell me some exercise which will help us for the free movement of the joint i ask you ms sharmila why was the knee rested for such a long time yes doctor why was the knee rested for such a long time was there an injury uh there was a small injury there and so i had to rest for some time and hence uh the knee was uh, it was in rest and has the pain from the injury gone away completely yes it has gone away completely okay then you can start your exercises and you must yes. gradually increase your exercise the easiest thing to start off with is by putting 1 kg of weight around your ankle you get these ankle weights online you can purchase them okay, okay doctor just put that 1 kg weight and start going from the 90 degrees bent position of the knee to straight okay. leg and okay. you need with a 1 kg weight start doing that at least 15 times 3 cycles Okay, so doctor. That will take you about ten minutes in the morning, ten minutes in the evening. Okay, doctor. That is your start, and following that, gradually you can increase the weight to increase the strength of your quadriceps muscle. Okay, is that alone enough for a moment of the um, muscle? To start time? off, yes, with the limited equipments, that is good, and that will help you to walk around freely and even to climb steps and then all these things. now to increase further strength you either need to join the gym or you need to take help of a physiotherapist who are going to use some machines to help with strengthening of your quadriceps is cycling good for this cycling is good it will increase the tone but it won't increase the strength of your quadriceps okay okay thank you doctor thank you very much doctor no problem next please 
Hello. Good evening. Hello. Sir. Yeah, Mrs. Yeah, Mrs. Ramesh Wadwa. Yeah. Yes. Sir, my right left knee me bhot pain hai sir. Great. 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 What's a great? Two. Great. 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 मैंने पीछे मेरे को डॉक्टर ने एडवाइस किया ओजोन का इंजेक्शन लगवाया था उसके बाद मेरे को ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम हो गया मैं चल भी नहीं पाती हूं ओके मतलब सी मिसेस रमेश जी ग्रेड 2 आर्थराइटिस है मतलब माइल्ड आर्थराइटिस है ज्यादा भी प्रॉब्लम okay. नहीं है आपका एंड hmm. ये माइल्ड आर्थराइटिस के लिए जनरली स्पीकिंग दो तीन चीजें फर्स्ट थिंग है सप्लीमेंट लेना शुरू कर दीजिए आप ग्लूकोजमिन का वो आप शुरू कर दिए होंगे शायद Second thing is strengthening exercises. आपका weight कितना होगा? Seventy. Seventy is okay, but maybe even weight reduction also you can think about. Uh, and strengthening exercises. Last thing अगर आपको injection लेना है तो one of the two. PRP injection ले सकते हैं नहीं तो hyaluronic acid injection. लेकिन injection लेने के बाद injection से भी जरूरी है एक्सरसाइज क्योंकि इंजेक्शन का इफेक्ट तो थोड़ा दिन के बाद चले जाएगा आपका एक्सरसाइज ही आपको प्रोटेक्ट करेगा सर ओजोन का इंजेक्शन लगवाया था उससे मेरा प्रॉब्लम बढ़ गया नहीं ओजोन ओजोन का इंजेक्शन मैंने लाइफ में कभी किसी को सजेस्ट भी नहीं करा है वो उस पे मैं बिलीव नहीं करता हूं नो एक्सरसाइजेस एक्सरसाइजेस अगर इंजेक्शन लेना है तो पीआरपी ले लीजिए नहीं तो हाइलोरोनिक एसिड ले लीजिए हेलो सर हेलो हेलो सर हेलो सर हेलो हाँ हाँ अनुपमा जी बोलिए अनुपमा आई लालो वन बाय वन लालो वन बाय वन जस्ट अ मिनट पार्टी मा यू कैन टॉक नाउ जस्ट यू या Unmute and talk to the doctor. Ma'am, you are not unmuted. Hi, yes, sir. Hello. 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 Yes. Hello, sir. I am Dr. Anupama. I am a gynecologist. I will be doing what is more. Now I have started with left uh, knee arthritis. What is your age, Dr. Anupama? Hello. Fifty-two, sir. Fifty-two. Already you develop arthritis. That's yes. pretty. What is the grade that they have told? So till six months actually I have two grade two, sir. Grade two. Is there any Hello. other cause of your pain, like any meniscal tear or anything? Sir, actually I had gone for. So sir, actually I had grade two arthritis, but I had gone for uh, mountain hiking. For uh, this one, so it has increased now. Hello. The pain was there before your mountain Hello. hiking, or only after you came back? Ma'am, you are no, sir. It has increased audible. after mountain hiking when I came back. Yes, sir. When I came back. Yeah, this is uh, Dr. Anupama. I would strongly Hello. suggest you get an MRI scan done. Yeah, my scan. Okay, okay. I would strongly suggest because I'm suspecting in your case more than grade two arthritis. I'm suspecting a yes, meniscal sir. tear. Meniscal tear. You have okay, to okay. rule out your meniscal okay. tear. Thank you. Please get an MRI done yes, tomorrow sir. in your hospital. Yeah, my. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Sure. Sir. Okay. Can I contact sir after this from you? Yes, yes, you can yes. contact. They will give my you. number. Thank That's not much. a problem. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, sir. Just to send your number, I can contact. Sure. What you Hello, can doctor. talk to me. Hello, what you mean? You can talk to the doctor now. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Mrs. Fatima, please go ahead. How can I help? Ma'am, are you able to talk now, or we'll move to the another one, sir? Hello, doctor. Ah, uh, doctor. Yeah. Um, please introduce yourself. 
sir will allow one another uh, next one uh, pooja kumara yes sir yeah okay hello thanks for your guidance doctor hello ma'am you are audible yes, sir you can oh, talk oh thank you thank you thank you i'm sorry uh, doctor there is a severe pain in my lower part of the knee uh and i am suffering from actually osteoarthritis uh, arthritis since uh, 10 years past 10 years about uh, due to too much of medication in my past life mm -hmm. so what will you suggest so uh, first should, thing, I, go uh, for, should Kuda, i go for some uh, knee replacement surgery or what <laughs> people are advising me for that so what should i do what is your age mrs pooja my age is uh, presently 58 58 okay yeah uh, little little too early to have a knee replacement but i need to know how bad is the uh, damage inside the knee joint um it's uh, too much actually uh, it the right knee arthritis? shows pardon is it grade 4 arthritis uh, that i have not asked but uh, the gap is too uh, reduced too much like uh, between the knees Especially the right See, knee. Uh, at your age, I mean, it depends upon uh, various factors. But if the uh, arthritis is extremely severe, right, as you are explaining it to me, yeah, then yeah, none yeah. of the medications are going to help. And we need to consider the fact that you are fifty-eight, and we need to plan something for the next twenty, thirty years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you will require some surgical procedure, Mrs. Pooja, and that surgery could yeah. be a total knee replacement. It could be a partial knee replacement. or sometimes okay. even what we call as a tibial osteotomy which is not a replacement but it is a uh, it is a surgery to uh, make sure that you can walk without a replacement there are various uh, procedures that are available but it looks like you will require surgery what kind of surgery difficult to say without looking at the x ray uh, there is a pain in my lower circle of the knee doctor lower part of the front portion lower yeah. part of the knee yeah. too so, much it is it is arthritis correct uh, which city are you in mrs pooja uh, presently i am in gurgaon gurgaon okay yes, you'll have to you'll have to in that case reach out to one of your trusted orthopedic surgeons um, because without an x ray i can only give you a broad picture yeah yeah okay yeah. okay i'll surely consult okay. consult any doctor okay All thank right, you so Mr. much sir okay thank you thank you ma'am uh, mr karan chandel you can ask you can talk to the board. hello sir you can unmute and talk to the doctor now please go ahead uh, mrs karan mr karan yeah please go ahead okay sir we'll move to the next one sir hello so uh, next one uh, ankita are you in the are you want to talk to the doctor now yes. unmute and talk to the doctor now good evening doctor i am ankita thare i am from mumbai can you hear me okay yeah talk a little louder uh, okay yeah. so i have suffered a meniscus tear a year back that was in september 2023 i have shown to a sports surgeon who had advised me knee uh, this keyhole surgery what you call for the meniscus tear it's teared from the root and also now my alignment is getting uh, disturbed because of so many now from past one we one month i am experiencing a lot of pain for which i am having uh, a painkiller that's what doctor said but he has advised me so uh, this is the only solution that i can look forward to uh, for this meniscus tear yeah a uh, good question uh, mrs ankita so a meniscal root tear along with a alignment issue is definitely a reason for surgery not just a reason to undergo surgery you should get it done sooner than later you should not wait for such things because the root the shock absorber will get crushed between the bones as you walk on it more and more so you need to get this surgery done soon it's a safe surgery you will completely recover from it the meniscus root will heal and your alignment also needs to be changed so the weight falls in the center about 
it's a one day in the hospital that's all it's a straightforward surgery i think you should go ahead with it and so how much time does it take to recover from it's such six things? weeks to recover from such surgery six weeks yeah and up and i just wanted to know at present means i'll be going with that surgery i don't know when but uh, can i continue with the exercises which were prescribed no 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 don't do anything much with it please you need to i'm, uh, I'm using a brace uh, i'm using a brace with both the sides iron that uh, metal thing is there doctor have advised me to use it one side only that metal thing because my alignment it's in the inside part of the where i feel a lot of inflammation a lot Correct. of pain is there so, so what uh, your doctor has suggested to you is uh, just protecting your joint so that you don't damage it until the surgery okay right if there is nothing else important that is waiting then i think you should go ahead with it sooner than later okay thank you so much doctor okay Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, so the next one. Uh, Hello. Yeah, you go get. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you are audible, ma'am. Uh, you can go get now. Be loud. Ah, uh, doctor. Ah, my two gutno me, ten saal se pain hai. Acha. To, lekin beech beech pe aaram mil jata hai. Jaise do mahine me bilkul theek rehti hu. और मैं वॉक भी करती हूँ उसके बाद फिर वो पेन शुरू हो जाता है मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि क्या मैं वॉक मुझे करनी चाहिए या नहीं सरिता जी अब कहां से आपका एज कितना है मेरी 65 है सर 65 और एक्सरे कराए आपने एक्सरे करवाए थे हां उसमें एक डॉक्टर ने तो कहा कि आपकी सर्जरी होगी लेकिन एक और डॉक्टर से मैंने दिखाया तो उन्होंने कहा कि अभी गैप आपका काफी है कोई सर्जरी की जरूरत नहीं है तो मैं कंफ्यूज थी कि मुझे क्या करना चाहिए नहीं नहीं आपका जो सिम्टम्स जो आप बोले ना कि बीच बीच में नॉर्मल हो जाता है और उसके बाद फिर से पेन आता है हाँ जी आर्थराइटिस में कभी भी पेन आपका इंटरमीडिएंट नहीं रहता है मतलब सडनली पेन रुक जाना उसके बाद पेन आना ऐसा नहीं होता है आर्थराइटिस में ऐसा होता है मेनिस्कल टेयर में मतलब जॉइंट okay. के अंदर जो मेनिस्कस है वो कभी कभी जॉइंट के अंदर स्टक होता है और सीवियर पेन होता है थोड़ा देर के थोड़ा दिन के बाद सडनली वो रिलीज होता है जॉइंट से फिर पेन चले जाता है वो मेनिस्कल टेयर में होता है आर्थराइटिस में नहीं होता है वो तो okay, आपको sir. आपको फर्स्ट पता करना है कि मेनिस्कल टेयर है कि नहीं आपको एम स्कैन कराना पड़ेगा एम करवाना पड़ेगा सर स्टेयर करते हुए प्रॉब्लम होती है स्टेयर चढ़ते उतरते दोनों टाइम प्रॉब्लम है हां वो स्टेयर्स का प्रॉब्लम जो है पेटल्ला से होता है वो नॉर्मली एक्सरसाइजेस फिजियोथेरेपी से कम हो जाएगा ओके okay, लेकिन जॉइंट के अंदर मेनिस्कस कैसा है आपको पता करना पड़ेगा जैसे मैं वॉक करती हूं 10 मिनट चलकर उसके बाद मैं थोड़ा रेस्ट करूं और फिर मैं चल सकती हूं हां ऐसा हो करेक्ट करेक्ट वो मेनिस्कल मेनिस्कस स्टेयर का सिम्टम है आपका एमआरआई करवानी पड़ेगी सर हां उसके लिए ओके थैंक यू सर नमस्ते सर रनिंग करते वक्त आया Uh, मेरी एज 32 टू ईयर्स है और मुझे ये चार मंथ हो गए फिजियोथेरापी किए लेकिन ये ठीक नहीं हो, हो रहा है मेनिस्कस स्टेयर आपका एज में जो हुआ है इंजरी से रनिंग के टाइम वो फिजियोथेरेपी से नहीं नॉर्मल नहीं होगा मेनिस्कस जो है उसको ब्लड सप्लाई बहुत कम रहता है मतलब सेल्फ हीलिंग पोटेंशियल भी बहुत कम रहता है मेनिस्कस को उसको आपको आर्थ्रोस्कोपी से रिपेयर करना पड़ेगा निर्मल जी आपका एज 32 है इसका मतलब है वो मेनिस्कस ज्यादा डैमेज होने से पहले आपको रिपेयर करा लीजिए फिर नॉर्मल हो जाएगा ये आपको फिजियोथेरेपी से नॉर्मल नहीं है ग्रेड टू है और इसमें क्या पीआरपी हेल्प कर सकता है पीआरपी 
अर्ली स्टेज आर्थराइटिस के लिए हेल्प हो सकता है मेनिस्कल टेयर के लिए पीआरपी हेल्प नहीं होगा ठीक है सर थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू नमस्ते सर रवि कुमार गो अगेड नमस्ते अंडी नमस्ते नमस्ते भवानी फ्रॉम हैदराबाद सर या चपड़ी चपड़ी भवानी सर इधर वक्सर एसीएल सर्जरी आई है इंदी मल्ली आ ग्राफ लो पार्शियल टेयर एंड चपड़ी मल्ली लो ग्रेड पार्शियल टेयर एंड चपड़ी लो अलांट केसेस लो पीआरपी अपना हेल्प चेस था आर एनी अदर सॉल्यूशन फॉर सच केसेस Two years, sir. My Bob Kina Kadu. He's uh, right now. He's 16 year old. 14 years long. Indi. He's a cricketer. And back uh, injury and the uh, LIR infection. Ah, ante idea le do. Vadi kai the first time I na to ala ye. I mean, first time I na pro idea undi vadi ke ala sound as tundi gada papa na pro. Ala ye ma abale do. Mali injury ye me puru abale do. पारशल टेर उबिटी उंग वे अंतर चूडीर अभी कंप्लीट टेर अवतने गिविंग वे अने सो मै सस्पेषन इज दट एसीएल कंप्लीट टेर अटी गिविंग वेवे पारशल टेर उत्रेंथनिंग फिजिथेरपी तो नार्मल अवत भवानी गुरु हेलो हम यू आर हेलो सर पीआरपी लांट भी अपना हेल्प होता है ले दम मार ले दम मार तो वेस्टेड टाइम पर रहती है ओके अंदर अंदर ना डाउट एंड एंड रीकंस्ट्रक्टेड का दा ये ग्राफ्ट का दा आ दान में दा आधा ही ना मामूल ऐसी लाई ना पार्शियल टेर उन्ना पड़ो पीआरपी हेल्प चेस दा चाहिए दा ले दम मार ले � same thing same thing okay uh, ante sol solution danika aithe solution either physiotherapy uh, strengthening or only reconstruction ante ee rendu solutions strengthening to help outuda sir partial tear unte help outu actually ga nidhanga partial tear kaada ani chustunna namaskara mri chustunna ani kalustha cheppagal sir meer ekkada available nin yashoda chetpad lo ओके सर ओके सर ओके ओके सर थैंक यू सर विल शेयर द डिटेल डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट आफ्टर द प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर इफ यू वांट टू मीट द डॉक्टर यू कैन ओके थैंक्स फॉर द कॉन्फ्रेंस थैंक यू अ मिसेस साधना मैम या यू टॉक टू हिम अनम्यूट प्लीज अनम्यूट मैम यू आर नॉट अनम्यूटेड मैम यू आर नॉट अनम्यूटेड प्लीज Your voice is not audible. Metro ka this side. Also metro, metro na. Ma'am, your voice is not audible. You are not unmuted. Hello, I am Sadhna Chaturvedi. Bol nahi hu. Ah. Hello. Yes, ma'am, audible. Yes, Sadhna ji. Sadhna ji, bol liye. हाँ डॉक्टर साहब नमस्कार मैं मेरे लेफ्ट वे में जब मैं उठती हूँ जब कभी चाहे एक मिनट बाद उठू चाहे मैं पांच मिनट बाद उठू चाहे एक घंटे बाद उठू मेरे लेफ्ट पैर में एकदम जाम हो जाता है घुटना अटक जाता है और फिर मेरे को चाहे आप एक घंटे चलवा लीजिए मैं लगातार चलती ही रहती हूँ लगातार काम कर सकती हूँ मैं मेरी एज सिक्सटी है और मेरा बेट कुछ ज्यादा ही है आपको रब होते है तब आपको पेन होता है फिर नॉर्मल उठने के बाद फिर नॉर्मल 
हाँ फिर नॉर्मल चलती हूँ मुझे कोई पेन नहीं है बिल्कुल भी पेन नहीं है जैसे लेटी भी रहती हूँ तो कोई पेन नहीं है कार्टिलेज है वो वेरेंटेर और आर्थराइटिस पेटेला में है आपको ओके वो अच्छा क्वाड्रिसेप्स मजल स्ट्रेंथनिंग करने के बाद वो पेन जनरली चले जाता है कभी कभी आपके कंडीशन में एक की होल सर्जरी करके वो क्लीन करना पड़ेगा मतलब ये पेटेला का नीचे पूरा रफ हो रहा है उसको स्मूथ करके क्लीन करते उससे फिर ये नॉर्मल हो जाएगा छोटा सा प्रोसीजर है कभी कभी वो जरूरी पड़ सकता है लेकिन फर्स्ट आप फिजियोथेरेपी ट्राई करिए हाँ फिजियोथेरेपी तो करवा ही रही हूँ डॉक्टर साहब मैं बहुत ज्यादा एक्सरसाइज वगैरह भी करती हूँ मैंने क्लास भी अटेंड कर रखी है इस वजह से कि योगा करने के लिए मतलब पैर की पैर की एक्सरसाइज करती हूँ मौसम तो उससे मतलब इसमें कोई रिलीफ नहीं है मेरे को बस हाँ अगर फिजियोथेरेपी से मैक्सिम ट्राई कर चुके हैं और कुछ रिलीफ नहीं है तो आप कंसिडर करना पड़ेगा कभी कभी आपको पी इंजेक्शन भी हेल्प हो सकता है वो भी ट्राई कर सकते हैं अच्छा पर मैं जब पेन किलर खा लेती हूँ तो थोड़ा बहुत कम हो जाता है लेकिन नहीं है ना पेन किलर तो लॉन्ग टर्म हो एक दो दिन के लिए तो अच्छा डॉक्टर साहब एक बात और बताइएगा आप मुझे मुझे नी रिप्लेसमेंट तो नहीं करवाना पड़ेगा इसमें नहीं 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 आप अगर आप एक दो किलोमीटर चल पा रहे हो तो नी रिप्लेसमेंट क्यों कराएंगे हाँ मैं एक दो किलोमीटर चल लेती हूँ आराम से नी रिप्लेसमेंट क्यों लेकिन बस ये घुटना अटकता है केवल नी अटक जाता है मेरा डॉक्टर मेरा प्रॉब्लम ये है की मेरी एज फोर्टी एट है और जो है मैं कई बार गिरी हूँ मैं तो मुझे बैक में टेल बोन में जो है मुझे गैप आ गया है और मैं जब भी गिरती हूँ तो नी पर मेरा वेट होता है जिस पर दोनों नी पर बहुत पेन होता है जिसमें लेफ्ट पर बहुत ज्यादा हो रहा है पेन मुझे और उठने बैठने पर भी पेन होता है और स्टेज पर चढ़ने उतरने पर भी तो मुझे कुछ एक्सरसाइज का चाहिए जरूरत या मेडिसिन से कम होगा नहीं बोला है बहुत बार गिरे आप मतलब ये गिरने के बाद आपका डायग्नोसिस क्या है मतलब गिरने के बाद कुछ डैमेज हुआ है जॉइंट के अंदर आपने कुछ एमआरआई स्कैन से पता करा है हाँ एक्सरे ये थे डॉक्टर तो टेल बोन में तो गैप आ गया है बैक में और नी में भी लेफ्ट में जो है थोड़ा सा लग रहा है गैप लेकिन रिसेंटली मैं गिरी हूँ तब मैं जो है फिजियोथेरेपी कराई लेकिन जाकर डॉक्टर से नहीं बता पाई क्यूँकी मुझे और कुछ हेल्थ इश्यूज हो रहे थे मैं नहीं जा पाई उसके लिए फरीसा जी वो गिरने के बाद जो पेन बार बार गिरने के बाद पेन जो आता है वो हाँ। आपको एक्सरे में सिर्फ फ्रैक्चर है तो दिखेगा आपको okay. फ्रैक्चर नहीं है लिगमेंट में कुछ प्रॉब्लम है तो एक्सरे में नहीं दिखेगा ये जी तो फिर तो मुझे क्या आपको लिगमेंट का प्रॉब्लम है ही या नहीं एमआरए स्कैन में ही दिखेगा आपको वो गिरने के बाद कुछ इंजरी हुआ है नहीं आपको देखना पड़ेगा वो ओके डॉक्टर आप यशोदा में रहते डॉक्टर मैं हैदराबाद से हूँ हाँ हाँ यशोदा सिकंदराबाद में रहता हूँ थैंक यू थैंक यू हेलो सर हेलो हेलो सर हेलो यस सर हेलो हेलो मैं आशुतोष गुप्ता बोल रहा हूँ बोलिए हाँ सर मेरे फादर की एज 85 फाइव ईयर्स है और उनको पार्किसंस है okay. और उनको तीन साल पहले हिप में फ्रैक्चर हुआ था सेम नी में okay. उनको अभी प्रॉब्लम है ऑस्टियोआर्थाइटिस है प्लस वो उनको बार बार स्वेलिंग आ जाती है और काफी पेन होता है नी में तो हमने कई बार स्टेरॉइड के इंजेक्शन भी लगवाए थे उससे टेम्परेरी रिलीफ मिलता है और एक महीने तक मिलता है टेम्परेरी रिलीफ इंजेक्शन से एक दो महीने पहले मिला करता था अब तो बहुत कम मिलता है आठ दस दिन के लिए मिलता है अभी हमने एक हाइलोरिनिक एसिड वाला इंजेक्शन भी लगवाया था लेकिन उससे भी कोई ज्यादा रिलीफ नहीं मिला और वो स्वेलिंग काफी आ जाती है घुटने पर और पेन काफी होता है तो इस समय अब क्या ऑप्शन है हमारे पास क्या पार्किसंस वगैरह होता है तो नी रिप्लेसमेंट वगैरह के लिए जा सकते हैं या कुछ उनको रिलीफ मिल जाए तो ब्रेसेस वगैरह का हेल्प ले सकते हैं या पी कुछ काम करेगी ये तो देख रहा हूँ कि उसका एज एज कितना 55 बोले आप 85 सर 85 यस सर मतलब 85 इयर्स और पार्किसंस पार्किसंस और ये पूरा कंसीडर करके रिप्लेसमेंट अच्छा ऑप्शन नहीं है ठीक है 
क्योंकि सब कुछ नर्व और मजल दोनों भी बहुत वीक रहते हैं जी जी जेनिकुलर नर्व ब्लॉक जी रेडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी इंस्ट्रूमेंट एक रहता है रेडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी से एक नर्व ब्लॉक कर देते हैं जी जी उससे एटलीस्ट सिक्स मंथ्स तक आपको रिलीफ मिलेगा वो छोटा सा प्रोसीजर है वो बेटर है जी जी ठीक है सर इसमें पीआरपी वगैरह का कुछ रोल होता है या ब्रेस का कुछ रोल होता है पीआरपी नहीं काम करेगा स्टेरॉइड वो भी फर्स्ट इंजेक्शन उसके बाद सेकंड के उसके बाद वेस्ट है जी ठीक है ब्रेसेस सर जो होते हैं ब्रेसेस से कुछ हेल्प मिलेगी नहीं ब्रेस काम करने के लिए पहली बात जो है एक साइड आर्थराइटिस रहना है और मजिल स्ट्रेंथ भी अच्छा रहना चाहिए जी जी ठीक है तो तो जेनिकुलर नर्व ब्लॉक बस कर सकते हैं हाँ वो बेस्ट ऑप्शन है 85 इयर्स में वो सर काफी प्रॉब्लम है क्या रिप्लेसमेंट के पॉसिबल नहीं है सर नहीं रिप्लेसमेंट से मजिल स्ट्रेंथ अगर ठीक है तो कर सकते हैं लेकिन मजिल स्ट्रेंथ बहुत वीक है तो रिप्लेसमेंट नहीं करना है जी जी ठीक है वो असेस करके आपको बोल देंगे मजिल स्ट्रेंथ कैसा है जी 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 ठीक अपने आप चल रहे क्या एक स्टिक पकड़ के चल रहे क्या सर सर वॉकर से चल पाते हैं क्योंकि हिप में उनके ट्रोकन फ्रैक्चर हुआ था स्ट्रेंथ ज्यादा नहीं है रिप्लेसमेंट मत कराइए कॉम्प्लिकेशंस आ जाएंगे जी 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 ओके ठीक है यस सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर देयर इज अ वन क्वेश्चन इन द चैट बॉक्स सर जस्ट अ मिनट सर देयर इज अ वन क्वेश्चन इज वेटिंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम मिस्टर करण चंदल is it the i am at 78 years height 5.9 weight 70 don't have uric acid diabetic bp i am a ex sports actually uh, from a shooting hiker 26 km cross country runner also i have pain in my right knee i feel my muscles are not uh, taking full load also doubt about neuropathy i have not seen any orthopedic doctor this problem started about 3 years back i am unable to sit on my uh, feet but i can squat climbing stress in, is a, is an issue i do climb and uh, come down facing problem with the right knee your advice please sir. so you, uh, actually so he is no, living in uh, himachal sir actually so mr karan you have mentioned you have a problem with the knee but can you tell me what is the exact problem that means do you have pain or is it instability or is it locking can you tell me a little more detail about what kind of pain uh, mr karan sir can you able to talk now you can unmute and talk you are also in the line if you are able to talk you can sir he is not able to walk on uh, foot in all terrains okay uh, not in one go but i have to take a rest in uh, at short intervals so he can't able to continuously walk i think sir yeah i get it see uh, he has pain but uh, why is it? i mean there are various reasons why you won't be able to walk It can just be um, that your feet or knee doesn't feel stable. Is it pain? Is it weakness? What does he feel? I want to know those things. Yes, sir. Without knowing any details, I I don't I can't advise. Yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, Mr. Karan, sir, if possible, you can talk. Otherwise, we'll move to the next one, sir. We'll move to the next person. Uh, Mr. Suman, sir, you can talk now. Quickly. Sir, you unmute and talk to the doctor, ma'am. Uh, sir, most of them are uh, finding difficulty to unmute. Actually, to unmute, ma'am. Yeah, 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 sir. Mr. Suman, sir, I think uh, you need oh, to. There is, unmute. there is a, there is a on the right hand side of your screen. There will be, or in the left hand side, there will be a button with microphone. Mic. Breathing. You need yes, to sir. click on that. Yes, सर 
Mr. Suman sir, you go ahead. Ma'am, just wait. Uh, he's already talking. Okay. Suman ji, or ek bar unmute kijiye. Wo mic ke upar dabaiye or ek bar. Sir, on the sir, you are sir, you unmute and talk, sir. Rogan, please help him. So uh, let's let's take this question. You know, uh, you know I think. Uh, 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 yeah. Good evening, Doctor Nitin. Good evening, Mr. Suman. Uh, I'm a very old patient of yours. 13 years ago, you had done my right shoulder supraspinatus oh, really? tear. <laughs> yes, the hospital. No, now yeah. actually I'm suffering with a lot of knee problem, and I have just uh, done a PRP on my left knee at uh, AP on, and uh, I I have taken all the three sittings, but uh, very not very much improved. But when I went back to them, they told me that uh, there's nothing wrong. I'm in grade three actually on my left left knee. Grade three, I generally don't recommend PRP, Mr. Achha, you oh. think I should just go for a replacement? Uh, not necessarily replacement. It depends on is it really grade three or is it grade four? Uh, how old are you now, Mr. Sman? I'm 75 now. 75, yeah. I mean, for a 75 year old grade three, how far can you walk? No, I am playing golf and all regularly. So, but, but can you walk? How can I play? Know? I have a lot of pain. Can you walk one two kilometers? Yeah, I can easily walk one kilometer. One kilometer, seventy five. But see, this is going to get worse with time. You are managing it. Yes, you have taken PRP. Maybe you can try take hyaluronic acid. But these are only delaying tactics. It looks like even though you are seventy five, you are healthy if you are playing golf. So, I would suggest that you go for a replacement, not necessarily total knee replacement. We need to assess if it is only one side which is gone, then partial knee replacement also should be good for you. Doctor Sir, you are still with the Yashoda? Still in the same hospital. I haven't moved on. Okay, sir. I'll come. I come across and take an appointment and come and meet you. We can meet. Yes. Yeah. In meanwhile, I just wanted to try this brace. This uh, I read try. about it. You can certainly retractable. Try. Yeah, I want to contact Mr. Arnachalam, but last time I tried to contact him, but I had no re response. Sir, uh, no, no worries, sir. Uh, uh, we'll guide you, sir. Meet, don't worry, sir. Once we okay. meet, Thank then you I much, can uh, suggest the right type of brace for you. Okay. Okay, sir, please sir, share your you. number. Please share your number in the group or in the chat box now, so that okay, we'll okay. Try, we'll reach you, sir. Don't worry, sir. Right. Thank you, I, thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Nitin. Are you still playing tennis, sir? <laughs> when I get a chance, yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So nice to see you, uh, your old patient, doctor. Actually, it's really nice. Uh, next one, Miss. Uh, I don't know what is the name actually. Random breed. Something he mentioned that. Miss Arjun Chaturvedi. प्रोसीजर है वो अगर प्रोसीजर करना है तो एक दिन हॉस्पिटल में फिर नेक्स्ट डे से आप चलना लगेंगे कुछ रेस्ट नहीं करना पड़ता उसमें ज्यादा नहीं नहीं मैक्म एक हफ्ता उससे ज्यादा नहीं बस फिर उसके बाद सही हो जाते हैं ठीक है थैंक यू मैं आपसे डॉक्टर साहब आप मेरे को अपना फोन नंबर दे सकते हैं तो वो ग्रुप में हम छोड़ देंगे आप अच्छा, एक बार हाँ, क्योंकि मैं ये पूछना चाहती हूँ इसमें कितना खर्चा आएगा क्या आएगा और कैसे वहाँ पर आप कहाँ पर फरीदाबाद से बोल रहे हैं हैदराबाद से हैदराबाद से अच्छा अच्छा हैदराबाद से ठीक है मैं आपसे कॉन्टेक्ट कर लूंगी मैं थैंक यू ठीक है ओके डॉक्टर गुड नाइट टू एवरीवन वी आर रनिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ टाइम एक्चुअली गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर या मैडम स्मॉल रिक्वेस्ट आई हैव अ क्वेरी या मैं मैं ओके सर सर माय बोथ माय नीज आर टोटली गॉन एंड ऑल डॉक्टर्स हैव सजेस्टेड टोटल नी रिप्लेसमेंट फॉर मी आई एम आल्सो अ कैंसर सर्वाइवर in 2021 i was diagnosed with cancer i underwent chemotherapy and uh, also targeted therapy and uh, my knees are have become very weak now and i am uh, right now i am undergoing physiotherapy for uh, developing core muscles but 
just two just days two back, days somebody back. told me that there is a procedure called knee surfacing, knee resurfacing, which helps in uh, where you can avoid total knee replacement. Is it possible? Is it any way I can avoid knee replacement? Um, knee resurfacing is a type of knee replacement, but it is a less invasive. That means not as big a procedure, right? Knee resurfacing should only be done, we do it for people who have limited part of the knee that is affected and not the whole knee. Okay. If the whole knee is affected, then just doing a resurfacing will not get rid of your full pain. So on your x-rays and MRIs, we look at what part of the knee is affected. So partial knee replacement or knee resurfacing is an option. So I, I need to know a little more details for you if knee re resurfacing is sufficient or not. What more details? Uh, X-ray. X-ray, okay. I just need to see the X-ray. Okay. Yeah. No, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, Renuva Kanda. Hello. Hello. Ma'am, go ahead, ma'am. Hello, doctor. Uh, yeah. Hi, Mrs. Renuka, Mrs. please tell me. No, no, sir. Uh, ma'am, you can ask, unmute and talk to the doctor now. Sir, I think. Uh, Hello, doctor. Yeah, yeah, you are audible, ma'am. You can talk to the doctor now. Anji, I have got problem with my right knee. Okay. What problem is it? And it it pains a lot. And I had shown to the orthopedic over here, or who suggests that knee replacement karna padega. But I am a little hesitant to get the knee replacement done. It is paining. I but I can walk around one kilometers as you had told many others. But in, in between, I have to take, in between, I have to take a rest. But I'm able to walk. Now I go for physiotherapy. What do you suggest? And even my uh, left foot has gone numb. Hello? Can you hear me? Left foot has gone numb. Can you hear me? Hanji, I can hear you. Can you tell me your age, please? I'm age, age, age. Your age. 68. 68. Okay. Uh, so, Mrs. Dingra, for 68 years, if you have severe arthritis, then I would probably suggest a knee replacement. Because any of the other procedures, if you want to delay it a little bit, you can use the braces, for example. But and eventually, you are going to require a knee replacement. Do I need a knee replacement? Yes. Okay. But I'm able to walk around one kilometer and all that, but taking a little rest. And my left foot has gone numb. At times it goes numb. At times it goes all right. So your arthritis will get worse. Don't I'm an osteo, osteoarthritis patient. Correct, correct. And that is going to get worse with your age. So. By, by the time you reach half kilometer, you'll probably be weaker. So get the surgery done sooner, I would say for you. Okay, okay, doctor. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, anyone wants to talk to, the doc talk to the doctor now? Because uh, already getting late, actually. We have five minutes to close the webinar. Please quickly ask the doctor now. Anyone wants to talk to Dr. Now? You can always reach out to me. Um, our team will leave a phone number in the group. And uh, you can always leave a message. Please don't try to call. I don't think I'll be able to answer. But if you leave a message to me, I'll be able to reply back whenever I get my time. I'll reply back to your message. So my group, my team will leave a message in the group of my phone number. 
i hope uh, you got the message from the doctor uh, is ready to help you uh, if you have any queries please share it in the group and at the same time we are going to share the doctor contact details suppose in case if you want to meet the doctor uh, how to take the appointments and all we are going to share all the details in the group so thanks for joining everyone uh, sir uh, first of all i would like to uh, convey my sincere thanks to you sir first of all because in your busy schedule you are spending a lot of time now almost more than one and a half, almost a one and a half hours you have spent for us actually thank you very much for joining everyone thank you very much doctor thank you Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir.